So, so let me ask you this too, because I guess whenever you're expanding, like, um, you know, an endeavor, like, you know, one of the most important things is like, who are the opinion leaders? How should I connect with them? How should I get out there? And I guess for you guys, it's, it's probably like, you know, builders in different States, whether it's, you know, here in New Jersey, we have Toll Brothers is one of the big ones or, or K Hovnanian or one of those. So I guess like, what does that look like for you guys? Are you looking at like building relationships with builders to expand or what does that look like? So really what, what's interesting is the market is begging for this, this solution everywhere. And, mm-hmm. and we have, we have builders all over the country that have picked, picked up what we're doing and they've caught wind of it. And they're asking, when can I order? And we're saying, well, we're, we're not literally delivering in Montana. We're not even building in Montana or, or where, wherever it is. So the builders are hearing about it and they're coming and they're knocking. And we, we have builders in Arizona almost every day reaching out saying, when can I order? So really, we know where the populations are growing. We know where these this is needed. And these these builders can't get the trusses. They can't get the labor fast enough. So we we know that the demand is built up and pent up, and it will be for, for years and years and years. So it's the, the builders are, are basically just waiting. We've got three public companies that have already voiced interest in buying out the entire operation because wow. they want the capacity. And we said... you. That, yeah, you can't have all the capacity. You, you literally can be a customer. We'd love to have you. Uh, but the the reality is it's it's desperately needed. So it doesn't matter whether it's Texas or Florida or North Carolina, some of the markets we're going to expand into, there's there's this built up demand and it will continue because the population is moving into these places. And I imagine too, for, for you guys, since you are so processed, um, like another thing that would be a big issue in like, you know, putting framing together would be like, you know, just the raw materials. So I guess in that too, you're probably able to do your, your orders and things differently. Is, is that correct? Yeah. I mean, one of the great things about having people, there, there was a company that tried to do something similar and it was a bunch of Google guys and they thought we're super high tech and we got all our money from Google, our Google bucks. And they went out and got their butts kicked. And I think they, they ended up burning like a billion dollars just making, because they had no industry experience. So we come into this, into this space with guys that have been around for 20, 30, 40, even 50 years with relationships with all the wood suppliers. So that that can be a, a bottleneck if you don't have those relationships. These deep relationships mean that we we know where our wood's coming from. Most of the wood comes from Canada. We've got those suppliers. We go direct to them. So we've got a lot of built-in efficiencies because of multi-decade relationships that makes the business really a unicorn. Uh, it's kind of funny because normally you hear the word unicorn, you think a billion dollars. Yes. Right now, the, the organization's worth, it, it, it was just appraised. It's right at 500 million and we're not online yet. So that this truly is a unicorn when we're online it'll be we expect it to be worth about two billion dollars in arizona so that's what happens when you you solve such a big problem you have this massive value because you've created so much value that's and i guess in terms of like when you're looking at the type of like building that you're doing um i i imagine like it probably makes sense to focus on some markets over others like are there certain types of buildings you're you're focusing focusing more on and and i guess in the future do you see yourself adding other verticals, like maybe, you know, um, okay, we're doing wood framing. We might add like, you know, steel framing in the future. Like, like what does all that look like? So right now this, this is narrowly, and, and this is all about the niche. Like what's the problem, the niche that we can solve. And, and our, our solution is for really houses and apartments. We can do hotels up to a certain height because you get, you get hotels that are, you know, 10, 15 stories. You're, you're looking at steel infrastructure. You need things that have more structural ability to control, you know, the weight. Uh, in in ours, we're looking at apartments that are up to say four stories, which is most of the apartment structures that are being built in the United States. Mm-hmm. Apartments are even better because they're more efficient. You have literally a hundred houses all stuck together on one piece of property, which is basically what an apartment is, 100, 200, 500. So this this works for for houses and apartments for the most part and some some smaller hotels the the interesting thing is when we're full when we're online and in full capacity in Arizona we will literally only be able to serve about 3 to 5% of the of the market of mm-hmm. what's happening so it, when you start thinking about that you realize we don't really need to go out and dominate all these different things I sure. think they'll naturally come into play. And people have said, what about things like the other trades, like plumbing and electrical? Could those things be expanded? Yeah. Here's the cool thing. The plant that we built is is basically a model that we're, we're building over and over again. So it's kind of like a franchise. Mm-hmm. When you have that, you don't have to re-engineer everything. So it, it makes it a lot faster to go and expand and roll it out. And then we mm-hmm. solve that one problem that serves everybody else. I think that's the thing that's really exciting to me is like the thing that I see is like, you know, you pick a geographic area to start. Um, really smart to start in a warm environment too, because it's going to be easier for construction. But I guess like the the other part of it is as well is like, 
you could just, you know, put hubs in various places and it's a way to expand really, really quickly. And, and, you know, even I guess opening an opportunity to others or something like that, if you want to do it. And I guess getting into kind of the investment half of that as well, like there are multiple hats that you wear 